Hi again, second graders. Welcome to day two. On day one, we talked about what our human footprint was and how that's everything we will use, eat, wear, buy, and throw out in all of our lifetime. Remember this week we're talking about our impact on the environment and that's our human footprint. So today we're gonna specifically be talking about both our positive impacts and our negative impacts. Remember our goal at the end of the week is to be writing an informational paragraph to inform people about how they can impact the environment. So today we're gonna to be, again, I told you, we're looking at positive impacts and negative impacts. So it might be helpful if you grab a notebook like I have today and I'm making a T-chart. I know it's hard for you to see here, um, but this is where I'm going to take my notes while we're learning um, via Pebble Go. So I made a T chart in my notebook. What that means is I wrote or I drew the letter T, the capital letter T, and on one side I wrote positive because that's going to be where I take notes about positive things that happen in the environment that humans do and negative things that we do that impacts our environment. So go ahead, pause the video get your notebook ready, and then we're gonna get to Pebble Go here, and we're gonna talk about caring for nature um, and littering today. And then when we're done, um, I'll also type up my notes and ideas so we can compare with each other. So caring for nature, what is nature? Nature is everything in the world that isn't made by people. Forests, oceans, and deserts are part of nature. Animals and plants are part of nature. Soil and air are part of nature too. And like we talked about in yesterday's inquiry lesson, did a lot of thinking and wondering about animals um, and plants and our impact that we had um, on that part of nature. You can care for nature when you visit a park or take a nature walk. Look at wild plants and flowers, but don't pick them. Watch wild animals, but don't scare or feed them you can enjoy nature without disturbing it. So a positive thing that we could do is looking at plants, but not picking them. So I remember when we take notes, we don't have to write a full sentence. I'm just going to write, look at plants, don't pick. And I always think about um, a phrase I heard when I was growing up and going to camp. It was always, if you care, leave it there. So if we care about something enough, we know we should definitely leave it there. Um, also, then another positive thing we can do is watch wild animals. Um, we don't scare them or feed them. Those are positive things that we can do to impact nature. You can care for nature in your backyard. How cool is this? Birds need water to drink and wash. Make a bird bath for them. Planting trees gives animals good homes. Never catch and keep wild animals. They need to live free. So another positive thing that we can do to care for nature um, or the environment, um, some ideas they said, make a bird bath. Another idea that they told us on Pebble Go is to plant trees. And if you think again back to what Miss Jones was talking about during reading this week with your informational article about trees, 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 trees are huge habitats for animals and tons of animals live there, that's their home. So when we get rid of trees, it just makes me wonder what happens to those animals um, and how are they able to survive? So planting trees is something that we can definitely do. That's a positive impact on our environment. Litter can hurt wild animals. If animals eat litter, they can get sick. They can become tangled in litter too, yikes. You can help nature by keeping it clean. If you see litter, carefully pick it up and put it in the trash. That's another positive thing I can write in my notes is pick up litter. Let's keep going. Protecting nature helps people too. Ooh, I wonder how. Healthy forests make clean air for us to breathe. Wow, so we need trees to help us breathe. Healthy rivers and streams provide clean water to drink. Kind of makes me wonder where all of our water comes from. Caring for nature keeps our world safe, beautiful, 
and clean. Wow, that's important to keep all of those things in mind when we're thinking about protecting our nature and how it's important that we think about our human footprint. So in review, my notes for positive ways we can impact the environment, look at plants, don't pick them, watch wild animals, make a bird bath, plant trees, and pick up litter. Okay, now we're going to move on to maybe our negative impact that we sometimes have on the environment. So we're going to read about cleaning up litter. Garbage that is misplaced or left behind is called litter. Litter can be paper, glass, and aluminum, plastic, and many other things. Litter is bad for animals and plants. Litter is bad for us too. Raise your hand if you've seen litter before. Let's put littering as a negative impact because we know that people do it. Maybe we are even guilty of it on accident sometimes of littering. So let's learn how that's a negative impact. Litter can hurt plants and poison animals. Broken glass can cut animals' feet. Ocean animals may be hurt if they get tangled in litter. Litter looks bad, smells bad, and hurts the environment. When you see litter, you can help. Place an event to clean up a park. Ask an adult for help if the litter looks unsafe. Wear gloves and boots to protect your hands and feet. Some litter, such as glass, soda cans, and plastic bottles can be recycled. Put these items in a recycling bin instead of in a trash can. They can be used to make new things. Oh, look at that. We have something to add to our positive impact. Recycle. That's something that we can do to keep our earth clean. Remember to always put garbage in a trash can. Remind your friends and family to never leave trash where it does not belong. If everyone helps, we can keep the earth free of litter. All right, second graders, I know initially when I started this video, we were just going to look at two different parts of Pebble Go, but we're going to continue to explore how humans interact with the environment so we can see more positive ways and more negative ways. So let's talk about water. We use water every day. We drink it and cook meals with it. We use it to wash our clothes and our bodies. Water flushes toilets and helps gardens grow. We could not live without water. Earth has lots of water, but only a little is safe for people to use. People waste safe water by using too much. They put garbage in rivers and lakes. Polluted water isn't safe to use. Some places are running out of clean water. So something that we could put in our negative column is that people waste water. Okay, we're going to jump to another category to learn a little more. Remember, you can always come back to Pebble Go and explore this section. We're going to actually go here and back to helping with the environment. We're going to learn a little bit about litter. Oop, we actually already did that. <laughs> Thanks for being patient, friends lots of places to click here helping the environment so you now you're kind of seeing where you can explore reusing and recycling this is the page too much garbage that's also a negative impact that people can have on the environment people throw away garbage every day some garbage goes to landfills and the landfills are filling up quickly many things don't have to become garbage they can be reused or recycled so we're going to put in the negative column, people throw away too much garbage. Reusing and recycling keeps things from being buried in landfills. It also saves resources. Fewer trees are cut down for more paper. Less new metal has to be mined. So when we think about that, landfills are getting filled. Those are places that garbage goes and they're getting overfilled. So if you think about yesterday's lesson where I talked about the human footprint, if you go back to day one and you're interested in learning more about landfills and garbage and 
recycling. If you click on the read aloud, it's about 17 minutes and you can learn more. Sorry, that was my dog. Um, you can learn more about how landfills are kind of a negative impact that we're having on the environment. So I'm going to add that to my notes that um, landfills are full just because people aren't mindful about um, their garbage sometimes. So we're going to stop there. Remember second graders, I encourage you if you're excited to learn more about people and how they're helping the environment, you can log on to Pebble Go yourself and go to social studies, click on helping the environment, and then there's all these different categories that you can continue to learn about. So let's recap some of the positive and negative ways that humans can impact the environment. So positive, um, we should look at plants, not pick them, watch wild animals, not scare them. We could make bird baths, we could plant trees, pick up litter and recycle. Some negative ways that we impact the environment, littering, people wasting water um, by letting your faucet run, um, things like that, taking too long of showers, people throwing away too much garbage so they're not recycling or reusing materials, and our landfills are full because of that because people aren't being mindful about it. So go ahead, friends. Um, you can re-listen to the video or you can research on PebbleGo yourself, but make sure that you have some positive ways that people impact the environment as well as notes on how they impact it negatively. And tomorrow, we'll continue to talk about our human footprint. See you tomorrow.